The American healthcare system is a smoothly operating machine that prioritizes and cares for the well being of its patients. Said absolutely no one ever, because as anyone who is a patient who sees doctors regularly and has a disorder that requires constant maintenance knows there is more often than not a lot of hoops to jump through and a lot of patience, hence the term patient. I had to go a week without my narcolepsy medication because of the fun-filled experience of getting the pharmacy and the insurance and the doctor to all cooperate in getting prior authorization to go through and, you know, Obviously, it takes a week to do that. So what did I do for a week without my meds? I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about the pros and cons of going a week without narcolepsy meds. First of all, my narcolepsy meds are fast acting and they take effect pretty quickly. I'm on Sonosi. For those of you who are familiar, it's not an amphetamine. It is a stimulant, however, and it essentially like rewires the sleep architecture in your brain so that you're properly going through the sleep and wake cycles. And when I take this medication, I get the effects within an hour and that carries throughout the day and then the effects wear off and I start over the next day. So with other medications that I take, like for my mental health, those take a long time to kick in and they last for a long time. If I were to go a day without one of those meds, I probably wouldn't notice. If I went a day without one of these, I would notice. I am so used to having like stable sleep health at this point that it's not often I have the full-on narcoleptic experience, right? Like when I was younger, before I could find the meds that worked or the dosage that worked, I was having sleep attacks every day. And on Sonosi, I've had like two sleep attacks in the three years I've been on it. So it's great. That being said, without it, holy shit, narcolepsy sucks. I like to think that my week without Sonosi was a little bit of a vacation for my brain because there's actually some nice things that come along with not being medicated for narcolepsy. Really, there's mostly just one, but I'll tell you what that is. Pro, being able to sleep whenever I want. Here's the thing. Sonosi is so good at its job that even if I wanted to sleep, I probably couldn't. It's actually really hard. For fuck's sake. Dude, if I were to edit out every single time something like that happened in my videos, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. So, being able to sleep whenever I want. I am always tired, but with Sonosi, I can't just sleep. Like, I will lie down for a nap and maybe 80% of the time I'll just lie there and it'll help a little just to like kind of close my eyes but I really just want to sleep, okay? Like, narcoleptics are made to sleep. And on Sonosi, when you're tired and you don't get that, like, uh, reward of at least being able to do something about it, it just kind of sucks. So, like, yay, I'm not having sleep attacks. But, boo, I could really use a nap. On the flip side of that, con, not being able to stay awake whenever I want, less. So I know I said just then that with Sonosi, I can't take a nap when I want to, but that doesn't mean that I don't still have like limitations where I'm going to have to get in bed and at least try. Like if I'm out with people and I'm so tired that I feel like I could fall asleep, like maybe I, I won't fall asleep, but I still have that feeling of like, holy shit, I just need to be in bed. So now without the meds, <laughs> I'm just never out of bed. Like I, I was spending so much of my time in bed because I'd just be zonked. Like I'd be sleeping all the time. So like, yeah, it's nice to sleep when you want to, but sometimes you just sleep. Like you don't even want to at that point anymore. You are just out. You are down for the count. It's your third nap of the day. You've been cumulatively asleep like five hours at this point and you're still tired. You've had God knows how many energy drinks that have done absolutely nothing to you. And now it's time for bed and you get to sleep the whole night through and start all over again tomorrow. Like there is 
no refreshment. There is no feeling of like, oh, I feel better. It's just like, God, I have like this limitless sleep drive in me that cannot be satiated. But there is still another pro, and that is that I don't have to sort my weekly meds. So like the good little uh, disabled spoony creature that I am, I have a weekly medi set and I fill out all the pills for every day of the week so that I don't have to take them from the bottle every day. And I love it. I actually look forward to organizing my meds every week, but I take a lot. Like I think I take like 10 different pills a day. So that can be like kind of confusing. Sometimes I miss a pill or like I, I get them in the wrong like time of day because I have a nighttime one, a daytime one, yada, yada, yada. Like I'll make mistakes. It's kind of nice to not have to bother. So having a break from having to fill out the medi set with my narcolepsy meds was like, oh, cool. This is like a little, like I said, it's a vacation. It's a vacation from being narcoleptic or a vacation to become more narcoleptic. Either way, I wasn't really thinking about it. And that was a nice kind of thing to take off of my mind. However, I forgot to take my other meds. There were multiple days where I didn't even realize until that night or even the next day that I had missed my morning meds because I do take other meds in the morning, but when I take my meds in the morning, I'm thinking to myself, gotta take my narcolepsy meds and the others just kind of go with it. I don't, I don't even think about it that way because the narcolepsy meds are so important in the morning that like, my first drive to take my meds in the morning is I need to wake up. That's why I'm taking my meds. And I'm not thinking like, oh, I need to take my psych meds too because that's for my mental health. So I missed a few doses of my psych meds and that doesn't super affect me much unless I, I completely miss out on it for weeks, right? Then I'll have a problem. So maybe a little bit of a minor blip, but I shouldn't be doing that. So like, even though I don't have the obvious sign of like, oh, I didn't take this med and I can feel in my body that I need it. I still have had a little bit of mania. Maybe, oh my God, maybe that's why. Oh, this whole week I've been like, God, I feel a little bit manic. I wonder why. And you know what? I missed my fucking meds. And it's kind of because I wasn't thinking about the psych meds. In the morning, I'm only thinking about Sinosi. But there was one last perk. And that was because when you have narcolepsy, you are in the lawless territory of no properly operating sleep and wake cycles and anything goes. So I had a little bit of insomnia and insomnia can be fun. If you don't have insomnia every day and you're so tired that you're sleeping all the time, having a few hours at night of like, oh my God, I'm alert is amazing. I never feel energy. Insomnia is really great for that because it's not necessarily like I have energy, but I don't have the crushing, debilitating panda crushing my head that wants me to sleep. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, for a time having insomnia to the point where like I was going two days without falling asleep at night at all that really sucked because that made the daytime sleepiness even worse which made the insomnia even worse which made it worse and worse and worse because when you have narcolepsy it's not that you need to sleep more than other people you can't sleep like other people like you can't sleep correctly so it's not that you need more sleep you probably need less sleep it's just that your brain cannot figure that shit out so yeah I was in this loop of you know bad wake cycle bad sleep cycle bad wake cycle and it was just making it all worse so I liked the insomnia the first couple nights and then I was just begging for sleep Oh, and I guess I covered my last point already because I forgot that I had a final card, but basically having no sleep patterns is a bitch. Sinosi, like I said, is a stimulant, but it's not like an amphetamine like Adderall or Ritalin that is designed to like keep you awake for the sake of being awake. Um, it is designed to correct the sleep architecture in your brain. So it is gently teaching your mind or sorry, your brain how to sleep correctly, how to be awake correctly, how to feel awake correctly, how to feel sleepy correctly at the correct time in the correct cycle. Um, because, you know, with narcolepsy, it's all it's all over the place and, and there's really no rhyme or reason to how the cycle operates. 
So a week without that, it was kind of like walking on a, a tightrope with no net underneath, right? Because like with Sonosi, yeah, I was tired, but I had this safety net that kept me from having sleep attacks or staying up all night. And I was having naps that were consistently 45 minutes. Like naturally on Sonosi, my brain will sleep for 45 minutes in the afternoon when I can nap. Like that's just insane because it's down to the minute. That's just how my brain operates. Without it, I would maybe stay awake for 30 hours and then sleep for two and then be up for half an hour and then be down for seven. There was no rhyme or reason and it was super, it was just like really frustrating because I couldn't keep a schedule. I couldn't, you know, go out and do the things I normally do. I couldn't like keep up my commitments and I had to put everything on hold that week because I forgot just how debilitating narcolepsy can be. It's been a long time since my narcolepsy has been unmanageable. So I take for granted a lot of times what it feels like to be that tired. Cause yeah, I'm always tired, but holy shit, sleep attack tired. Like giving up the fight tired, that's a different level. You know, there's there's this interesting thing about how like, even with Sonosi, I am always tired and I am way more tired than the average person, but I'm not my most tired. I'm probably, you know, anyone else in the room's most tired or even far past their most tired, but my most tired is like limitless. They say that narcolepsy, um, like the energy you have is equivalent to going three days without sleep, two to three days without sleep. So 48 to 72 hours. And that's how you would feel every day. Most people don't go three days without sleep even once in their life. Maybe they do, but maybe like, once or twice. That's not how they feel every single day. So me on Sonosi feels like maybe, I don't know, like 36 hours without sleep. Me without Sonosi is definitely the full 72 hours. And I get that now. And I'm very grateful that I have my medication. So I'm glad that week is over and it was eye-opening to me. I'm super grateful to be productive again because I, I can do things now. Like I just cleaned my entire craft room today and that was something I'd been chipping away at the entire week. And then just this like second day on Sonosi, banged it out in an hour. Amazing. So narcolepsy meds rock. <laughs> I'm here for that. And prior authorization is not my friend.